What's going on guys? Last night's for Pan here and we have another amazing video. Um, this is pretty much pickups from the 2022 Ellsworth uh, Pierce County Fairgrounds car show slash swap meet. I went with my grandpa, had a blast, great crowd, great turnout, um, lots of awesome cars, lots of, lots of awesome vendors and die cast deals. I highly recommend attending this, especially if you're from Western Wisconsin or even Eastern Minnesota. It's a great, it's, it was just a beautiful day. And overall, die cast wise, amazing. Lots of great deals and I can't wait to begin with the first car. Actually, we will do this one. So from the first vendor we got here, it's a 57 Chevy Bel Air. I really like the paint job and the paint scheme. <laughs> That black and silver 23, that is pretty damn awesome. Um, I guess we'll go to the second car. It's a bit of a newer one, but it's still a 70 Plymouth Bird, but it's from the newer Hot Wheel line. I like the wing on there because it's just, just shows the image of the old classic stock car vibe. I just love having those in my collection. This, however, is pretty cool. It's going to be hard to see it, but that's because it's a two-car pack. Not just one car. Oh, no, 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 no. Two cars. And what's even cooler is that this was a Cub Foods uh, exclusive promo that you were able to find at Cub Foods uh, around the area, especially in Minnesota. Um, so this is kind of like a work appreciation diecast. I don't work for Cub I work with a different company that's associated with Cub. We're under the same enterprise. But yeah, it's pretty cool actually to have that in my collection now. It's the it's actually the shopping cart uh one with the with the um suit up uh motor right there. So yeah. I have a couple of the shopping cart ones. They're pretty cool, but the Cub Foods one easily takes the cake for best. Here we got an actual um Disney race, not a Disney racer, but a Disney character car, and it's RC from the Toy Story franchise. I didn't have this. I saw it for five bucks. I'm like, okay, that, I gotta pick that up. So that's actually pretty cool. We'll get into more Hot Wheels in a little bit, but I want to go to the second vendor for stuff that I found from there. And he had a bunch of NASCARs. They were priced 10 bucks a piece i didn't want to and i didn't have most of them but i had to single out which one i wanted the most and i came to the to the decision that the this one would do it and it's actually a very good deal it's the 2005 tony stewart james dean um bush series car he ran for kevin harvick incorporated way back in the day it's seen better days you see the packaging it's old getting old just wasn't stored correctly but that's pretty cool but we also got some loose cars for three bucks i'm not really happy that i had to pay three bucks i put them in tiny bags so they wouldn't get chipped or anything but we got some cool ones though i, I don't have well i mean i sort of have this car but i don't really this is the hot wheels uh promo version they did a line in 2004 of four drivers first victories they had matt kenseth's ryan newman's kurt bush's and greg biffles I'm just now looking for the Biffle one. So this is pretty much like a race version car just with the black wall, just with the plastic black tires and Hot Wheels. So that's pretty cool. Um, we got another NASCAR uh, Hot Wheel and it's actually one I've been looking to replace in my collection for a couple of years and it's the 02 Ryan Newman Alto Ford. Uh, this is, I mean, pretty cool. This was the car that, yes, he ran at, in 2001 in both Arca and Cup, as well as Bush, and he ended up um, blowing his engine in the All-Star Open, which he dominated that race, that All-Star Open, pretty much, before that happened. More interestingly enough, we have some IndyCar diecast. This is actually kind of like my first time stepping into IndyCar stuff for once. We have the number 24 Toyota. I can't remember who drove it, so comment section, you're going to have to help me, as well as Discord. Please help me. Uh, who drove the 24 um, Pioneer Toyota. I know it's somebody. This one I do know for a fact. It's uh, Michael Andretti's number two. Uh, Haviline um, Kmart IndyCar for Andretti for the Andretti Auto Sport team. 
So this is pretty cool to have a Michael Andretti uh, IndyCar for once in my collection. All right, um, next few cars actually. Just, let me see if I gotta find it first. Uh, here it is. So we'll do this one first. Uh, 1994 Michael Waltrip Pennzoil uh, Pontiac. Pretty cool. It's kind of like when the Brickyard 400 was like the big thing, especially because this is the inaugural Brickyard stuff. They would have like these at the racetrack that you were able to buy because they were hyping this event so much. And it was actually a huge success for many years until its demise in 2008 with the whole tire failure stuff that really doomed IMS. And then kind of 2000. 14 was like the last good race because they just kept getting worse and worse and attendance just kept getting just kept going down because the racing just wasn't working with NASCAR how it used to this is pretty cool though this is a Milwaukee Brewers uh, matchbox um, team collectible car so they used to do these way back in the day and this is the Brewers actually when they joined the National League they joined the National League, I think, around 95, 96, or even 97. And this was kind of like the dark years of the Brewers, where they were just really, really, really bad. Might have been AL still. I think they didn't go until 98. I think this was their last year in the AL. But still, very bad years for the Brewers from, from that time period. Here's a Lucy that's pretty interesting. It's so real, really beat up. I didn't have it, though. It's a Dale Jarrett fun stop. Uh, sit go. I think it's from 91. So I have the racing champion version, but it's pretty cool to have the fun, the, the pit stop or fun stuff, fun, fun stuff pit stop version. So that's so that's pretty cool. Um, uh, what do we go on to next? All right, let's get all of these out of the way. So I have a huge bag of loose cars and brand new cars and bag baggy cars that I got or depending on the price pretty much if they were loose altogether one buck if they were loose in the package uh they had a price on them they were like two bucks three bucks or even eight bucks a couple of the Gordons they had from the Action Elite series were eight bucks a piece but I didn't really budge because I just wasn't interested even though I should have maybe bought one of the Gordons because it had the Coca-Cola logo on the back but I didn't really need it so anyways, we're going to get on to the uh, first car. It's actually a uh, Petty um, 2003 cereal box promo. It's the Lucky Charms 2003 paint scheme. But the thing though is that it's on, the, it's on a 1970 Pontiac GTO. And that's actually kind of cool, to say nonetheless. So we have that one as well. Well, we'll go to this one then. 2002 John Andretti Hamburger Helper Dodge. I remember playing this in NASCAR Thunder 3 a lot. Still do. It's a beautiful paint scheme. Really happy to add that to my collection of 43 cars I don't have. Another um, 43 uh, promo I don't have is the Pop Secret promo, promo that they had as well. This is pretty cool. really see it was getting really chipped because it was in that bin and probably got rummaged around a lot throughout the day this however is freaking awesome this was a buck this is uh actually an rcaa um sports the nascar convertible series line that they did in the early 90s they did rca rcaa action they did a line of these they did both the convertible series as well as early 60s uh, NASCAR diecast in the early 90s and then racing champions did it for a while too they did like mid 60s to late 60s and early 70s but it didn't really catch on so they discontinued it kind of after like 1998 1999 but this is pretty cool though because if you want to get into like complete NASCAR driver list these are like a must-have and this is pretty cool it's uh once again Bob Wellborn's number 49 um Nasley uh, Chevrolet Incorporated, Atlanta, Georgia. This is pretty cool, actually, though. So for a buck, great deal. Um, another promo, cereal box promo. 
I never found this in a cereal box. I only, I only found the cereal box box ones from 2008. But this one still eluded me because I didn't have it. it was, it's the seven-time champ scheme that was produced. It's pretty cool, though. So, yeah. Got that. Um, another baggy one that they wanted three bucks for. Johnny Sauter, uh, Aldi promo. I have the Cub Foods one, but I didn't have the Aldi, so I just decided to get the Aldi one because for the heck of it. And now we'll get into the regular loose cards that were a buck. So we got 2003 Kurt Busch, or 2002 Kurt Busch. I can't remember if it's 2002 or 2003, but anyways, this Kurt Busch scheme never ran that well at all, and you can see why. It's just such a cursed car. So unfortunately, that one... And most of them are, are most of them are kind of beat up a little, but they're still they still roll well. I tried to grab the ones that could roll well. This was actually quarter, but he gave it to me for free because I said like I had about twenty one dollars twenty five cents worth of cars, so he just gave this one to me for free. Um, it's just a number ninety bumper save. Um, Disney Pixar Cars car I didn't have, so that's pretty cool. However, these ones get more interesting. Two thousand one Matt Kenseth uh, Dewalt Ford. I didn't have this, and I was really happy to pick that one up. A lot of these cars really helped my list of drivers that I didn't have. This one's actually kind of cool, because this is like an action elite car, and it's uh, Tony Stewart's 2003 Home Depot Chevrolet. It's in pretty good condition for a car that was in a loose bin for a while. It's not missing anything. Yeah, it's in great condition. Like, this is, like, perfect. Rubber tires are still good. Everything. Wow. Here's, um, 2008, um, Bristol Food City 500, uh, promo. So this is gonna go my, um, raw track promo case, which is pretty cool. So that's, that's pretty cool to have. Um... A couple more in here. 2002, uh, here's another Tony, Tony Stewart. Uh, 2002 Old Spice uh, Home Depot promo. So pretty much you were able, uh, if you bought like a thing of Old Spice back in 2002, you would get a car with it. And that's kind of like how this promo was attained. Looks like, oh boy, that thing's been from a cigarette. This thing's had seen better days. Of, so look at the yellow plastic. Ugh, that's gross. I don't know how to really clean that because it looks like cigarettes smoke or something like that. Itch is not good. Not good. Or it could be just the plastic because of how old it is. And that's what happens with those with certain cars. If it's like on a cheap mold, especially because that 2002, it's, yeah, it's on the action mold. Here's a car that I was really interested of getting. And it's actually a car that was documented but with a different by a different person though uh, Wimmer TV he found a 2007 COT version but here is a 2005 Chevy Monte Carlo version it's the NASCAR performance promo and these are actually kind of cool it's got the Chevy body right there this thing is really awesome I can't I'm gonna definitely do a die cast review on this car because this thing is just super unique and not really that well not, not that well documented uh, here's another promo, 43 promo, that I was really happy to find. It's a Star Wars. Part, it was part of the Star Wars promo cars that they did for 2002 when they were releasing um, Attack of the Clones. They did a few fantasy schemes for John Andretti, and one of them is the Phantom Menace scheme. And there's another one, too. It's uh, Return of the Jedi. But I haven't been able to find that one yet, so we'll get to it eventually. No worries. And then the last, last of the loose cars actually is at, is a 2002 Ken Schrader uh, Pontiac. This is pretty cool. Seen better days though. But yeah, pretty cool for, for the loose cars for that. We also got a box car. It's a 2006 uh, Martinsville uh, promo, uh, track promo actually. So that's actually even more cool. We have a, uh, we got two Martin, we have, um, uh, Bristol promo and a uh, Martinsville promo from those years. <laughs> um, all right, let's go on to the next stuff. Um, just, I have these in a bin. 
them because I just wanted to get them out of the way. But I got, I got a, got these, I got these uh, four cars actually for twenty bucks total, and they were yep, so they were five bucks a piece, and this is actually what I ended up getting. Nineteen ninety nine Dale Earnhardt Jr. Budweiser Chevrolet. This is freaking awesome, especially from the Ravel series. So this is like top of the line. Good stuff. Indeed. Very good stuff. Got that. Um, I guess we'll do another junior card, the, the Superman car. That's pretty cool. I have the Gordon one, but I didn't have the junior one. So that's pretty cool. Now I got to find the Ron Hornaday junior one. Got a couple of Earnhardts as well. The 2000 Taz uh, scheme that was ran at the Daytona race that year. Man, that car had no luck at that race at all. Come to a year later, he'd be gone. As well as Dale's 2001 shootout scheme that he ran. And yes, this was the car he ran in the shootout. This wasn't the Daytona 500 car he ran and ended up dying. So yeah, and I love this paint scheme as well. This is like one of the best Dale Earnhardt paint schemes of all time, especially with the Oreo sponsorship. That is freaking awesome. So freaking cool. And then last two cars we got here, I got for three bucks a piece. And these are actually kind of cool. Uh, 2000 Ron Hornaday Napa Auto Parts uh, Chevy for DEI. That's really awesome. Now, I actually have the 124, so it's actually kind of cool to have both the 164 and 124 version of, of those cars. And then the last car we have is actually pretty interesting. It's a uh, 1997 Ron Barfield uh, Matchbox Racing Superstars promo. And Matchbox made these ridiculous huge boxes, especially for promo die casts. And we don't know still the reason why, even though White Rose Collectibles had a huge affiliation with Matchbox when it came to making die cast. They produced a lot of ARCA promos as well as Truck Series promos, Bush Series promos, and even a couple Cup Series promos. But yeah, that's going to do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching comment, like, and subscribe, as well as hit that notification bell for new diecast videos. I'll have more videos uploading in the future. Take care, of your, take care, everyone. Peace out. Have a great rest of your day or evening.